fallacy of equivocation occurs when a key term or phrase is used with two different meanings in the course of an argument. This creates the illusion of valid reasoning, but the conclusion doesn't logically follow because the word shifted its meanings. So let's try and represent this in predicate logic. So let's say we have uh, our first statement, which is all banks are by rivers. So we would have for all x, bank x. So in predicate logic, this means x is a bank. And this is for all um, values of x, so for all things that are x. And then you have this, which is if and then. Um, and then you have beside river x. I should have a third one here, but I can't fit it in. So this means that if x is a bank, then x is beside a river. That's how you write this in predicate logic. And then two, so let's say all banks are financial institutions. I'm not going to write institutions. So now we now write that in predicate logic, which is going to be for all x, um, we're going to have a bank x if, and it's basically the exact same as the first premise. So I'm going to write, instead of writing this all out, f i x. So if x is a bank, then x is a financial institution. This is where the fallacy comes in. So therefore, we would have all financial institutions are beside rivers. So in predicate logic, that's going to be for all x, financial institutions, x, and let's say beside river, x. So hopefully that expresses how equivocation um, arguments are a fallacy and that's it represented it in predicate logic.